One school closes, another one reopens. Next week, students at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School in South St. Louis will return to the classroom. It comes nearly three months after a student and teacher were shot and killed. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins talked with the principal about making students and staff feel safe after the tragedy. Tragic, heartbreaking, we are still, I'm, I'm still heartbroken. Dr. Casey Shahid is the principal of Central Visual and Performing Arts High School, where the district is gearing up for students to return to in-person learning for the first time since the deadly shooting back in October. I'm very confident that we are probably the safest school in America right now. District officials say extra security measures have been put in place, starting off with a total of eight security officers will be on site, and some of the eight will be armed. More police patrols in the neighborhood and additional cameras throughout the campus. The district has replaced more than 160 interior doors and have plans to replace exterior doors. The district says it will continue to look for ways for equipment and products to help maintain safe and healthy school environment. Yes, it was a traumatic situation, but how can we focus on the growth side? Um, where will we be in days and weeks to follow? Well, as students return to in-person learning on Tuesday, the principal says they will be greeted with smiles and hugs. They will also notice these murals of hope on their locker as they continue to try and heal following the tragedy. They're going to see vibrant colors. They're going to see, uh, I, I don't want to just be cliche and say happy faces, but I hope they feel positive energy, feel everything that you might see in a positive culture and climate. We have new doors and we have fresh paint and beautiful murals and so new lighting. And so again, it looks like a new place, but I think outside of that, they're going to feel genuine love. School officials say the deadly shooting will forever live in their memory when a gunman claimed the lives of a student and a teacher and injured others before he was shot and killed by police. Among the victims, 15-year-old Alexander Bell, a sophomore at the school, and 61-year-old Jean Kushka, who was a health teacher. School officials say they will be missed. And I don't negate what happened on that day, and I don't want others to remember our loved ones that we lost, but I do want us to focus on the growth uh, that is to come, and I'm very optimistic about that. Reporting in South St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.